the Nibelheim incident, the flashback at Calm, the tragedy at Nibelheim, the fall of a hero in Nibelheim. This event from FF7 has been made and remade no less than four times, but the most recent iteration playable in the demo for FF7 Rebirth may very well be the definitive edition. The graphics, the characters, the lines that they speak, the subtleties, and the music. He grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth, what you got there? This may very well be the greatest version of the Nibelheim incident that Square Enix has ever produced. I'm going to talk to you about, well, how much I freaking loved this demo and how it makes such a great horror movie that you simply play through. At roughly two hours to complete, you have about the same amount of time that you would have in a normal movie. Now, some movies might be less and some might be more, along with however long it took you to complete this demo. Nevertheless, it tells a complete tragic story of the fall of a hero and the rise of a monster. Now, I get that it's not perfect. The one thing that is missing from this two-hour video game movie is Tifa's resolution. She's simply not in the ending of the demo. And, well, if you've played the OG or any one of the other renditions, then you know that there's plenty more after this in Chapter 1, in the Nibelheim flashback. And we know what's going to happen to Tifa after that. And personally, I cannot wait to see what happens after Sephiroth walks away into the fiery abyss. The most recent rendition of the flashback for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth doesn't just expand upon what was in the original game, it also adds a few things to it. it expands the town to being bigger than it ever has been before. It makes the town feel alive. And it also corrects a few little things that just makes the story even better. We start off with a 16-year-old Cloud Strife who is young and full of energy, getting to go on a mission with his favorite hero, Sephiroth. It's the mission of a lifetime, and it's how a great tragedy or horror movie starts off. We end up in this small town deep within the mountains. No easy way out of this place. The perfect setting for a horror movie. We see the town, we see how cheerful the people are, how exhilarated they are to see Sephiroth for the first time. Like having a celebrity, one of the most famous people in the world, come to your small hometown. We get to see people from Cloud's past. We get to see Tifa, we get to see his mother, and we get to hear the dialogue between all of them, some of which has very subtle hints at things that are going on behind the scenes, in the subtext, if you will. We get to hear words from the mayor, how he'll talk about this for the rest of his life. And, well, if you know, you know what weight those words hold. While this isn't the first time we've gotten to see Nibelheim in 3D or in high definition, this is still one of the most beautiful renditions of it as well. Being able to see the mountains in the background, the long rickety rope bridge that leads over to the reactor nestled atop one of the peaks of the mountain, it's just an amazing awe-inspiring view. The voice acting is absolutely superb from everyone involved. Getting to see Tifa at this young age and seeing how she acts differently, how she acts, well, kind of like a, a teenage girl. She's young and impatient, always feeling like her father is trying to hold her back, and she lashes out a bit. You don't have to do this. I'm going and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Getting to see a different side of Cloud Strife, a young man who is full of energy and excited. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? And then also getting to hear Sephiroth when he's both friendly and human-like. Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. 
And then when he makes his change, there's absolutely this difference in his tone of voice. Ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. Getting to see the climb to the top of the mountain, how they've added more abandoned facilities to the base and to some other areas. Seeing the rope bridge collapse, watching as that poor trooper floats away. It's all a little haunting. And then we finally make it to the top where things truly start to go wrong. And we get to see a slightly different version of events that take place inside the reactor. Quite possibly, once again, the best rendition of them all. This has a more fleshed out tone to it. The dialogue, the body language, and of course it doesn't shoehorn in any extra people like Genesis from Crisis Core. Now I've got nothing against Genesis. I enjoyed his character in Crisis Core, especially the reunion version. But them retroactively adding him into the Nibelheim incident kind of cheapened it for me. Then we return to Nibelheim and things just aren't right. Cloud is led over to the mansion by a group of worried militia people and then we enter the mansion for the first time. It's beautiful though I wish we certainly could have investigated more of it and gone down a creepy spiral staircase instead of taking an elevator. But it is what it is. Getting to see Sephiroth down there in that strange library in the basement, getting to hear his words, see the visuals, was simply amazing. And then a small change, Sephiroth tossing Cloud into the side of the wall, which causes him to go unconscious. A nice little change from the other renditions of the Nibelheim incident. All of this leading up to the culmination of Cloud's hometown burning, people screaming, pleading, wishing that it wasn't Sephiroth, unable to comprehend that it actually was him. And then the moments leading up to Cloud opening the door to his old home and the fire blasting him out. It was such an amazing story. And the music, just listen to the music at that point. The developers have truly mastered storytelling in this small segment of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and if this is any hint as to how the rest of the game will play out, I think that we are in safe hands as far as the storytelling goes. In fact, I am more excited than ever to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth based on the demo. I could definitely go on, but this video would be like an hour long, so I'll wrap it up here. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought of the Fall of the Hero in Nibelheim, the FF7 Rebirth demo, and leave a comment, like and subscribe, consider joining, we have memberships now, and I hope you will check out more on the Felroad Express. Check you guys next time.